And welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee from BALS. Hey, on July the 23rd, the International Sports and Music Project will hold a fundraiser for Rwanda right here in New York City. Joining us to share what we can expect, we have founder and executive director Jason Steinberg. We welcome you to the show. Thank you so much. So happy to be here. You're no stranger. You've been around doing this for a while. How long? Uh, so been fundraising for sports and music uh, resources for now coming on two years, um, yeah. but the actual non-for-profit organization started only earlier this year. All right. So yes, you've been doing it for a while. <laughs> yeah, a little while, a little yeah. while. It gets easier and easier, I guess, you know. Yeah, slowly but surely. You hesitated. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us some of the things that you're working on. Yeah, sure. So we're called the International Sports and Music Project, uh -huh. and we find kids around the world that need sports or music resources, uh, and we get them those resources, anything from sneakers to instruments to anything like that. And we're founded on a very strong belief that mm -hmm. sports and music can positively impact a, a child's life and a human's life. And sure. That's the kind of work we're trying to do. And, and what communities are you working in right now? So we started actually when I was living abroad and teaching um, and coaching basketball in a little country called the Federated States of Micronesia. Um, Didn't I hear you say that once before? <laughs> you may Somewhere. have. You may have. And so the Federated States, States of Micronesia. That's right, in the yeah. North Pacific. Uh -huh. um, yes. Working with a high school called Madelineem High School. And... Uh, yeah, it all started very organically. Um, you know, I was coaching basketball. These kids absolutely loved basketball, mm -hmm. boys and girls, and they wanted to start a team. We come to our first practice, and uh, we didn't have any sneakers. We didn't have a team basketball. Sure. Um, so we started fundraising, and uh, in the meantime, we were working hard. Kids would pass up their bus ride home from school to play basketball barefoot for two hours only to wow. then walk home 10 miles back to their village yeah. and yeah. they were doing it just from pure love of the game and that was really inspiring for me yeah. and uh, music quickly followed after as something that kids loved another way to have an outlet in a world that has all kinds of struggles um, sure. opportunities to have discipline and in inspiration and to have personal accomplishment that you can take hold of and teamwork and all of that yeah. and uh, it was an inspiring experience, and so we started fundraising. We were able to raise mm -hmm. the resources we needed, and now we're operating in Micronesia and in Rwanda, at a, an orphanage in, in Rwanda, and uh, we're really proud of the work we're doing. Uh, Micronesia, uh, is that part of uh, U.S. territories? It uh, has an interesting uh, compact with U.S. territories. It, it is now an independent country and is has it? been for many years, um, but there's a pretty strong... Alliance between American the United influence. States, yeah, yeah. And the Federated States. Uh, tell us about these apps that you're, you're putting together. Um, so the apps are actually not me, but we have a fundraiser coming up. Okay. Um, yeah, in two weeks we have the New York City uh, fundraiser for Rwanda. Um, it is a event for adults to come have a, a good time at a bar in New York City on a Saturday night from 10 to 12. Um, we're going to show a little video that uh, we're really proud of, and the event was actually uh, co-sponsored by an organization called Eventpire. Um, luckily, we've been able, we've been very fortunate to connect with lots of people who are willing to lend a hand and help out in different ways. Uh -huh. Filmmakers and artists and event planners and donors and board members um, who just believe in, believe in what we're doing, believe mm -hmm. that music and sports actually can uh, add joy to a kid's life and help provide an outlet um, when maybe others aren't so readily available. That's wonderful. And uh, it, how, do you, how do you feel working on something like this, helping others? I feel I feel great. I think uh, I'm, I'm more selfish than I come off. I'm getting more out of this than anybody else, and uh, it's been amazing. I mean, I keep in touch with the, the students that I got to see firsthand that, you know, their lives are just a, a little bit happier um, from this. You know, we're not providing medicine or, or food. We're, we're providing yeah. an opportunity for, that for is kids medicine, to be. Though. Yeah, if medicine really for the mind, yeah, for yeah. the soul. So I believe in that. Um, you know, for me, even when I'm having a bad day, I, I go to the park and shoot around, or I pick up yeah. my guitar and play some music, and the, the effect it has on me is uh, can't really be described adequately in words. And if I can do that for even just one other kid, yeah. um, or if people can help me do that and help our organization do that for just one, one boy or one girl in another country, then for that one boy or girl, maybe their, their whole life can be How changed How can people or, or organizations help you with that? So there's a bunch of ways to help out. Um, at the most basic level, we just want people to be part of our family, part of our community, come on social media, talk to us, let us know what you want to see, mm -hmm. uh, you know, tell us how we can help you. Um, if you're interested in donating sneakers or, or an instrument, you can go on our website and 
they'll say, you want to donate sneakers? That's $30. Or a guitar mm -hmm. is $100. Or um, any of that. And even more for our long-term vision, we're trying to um, get more fundraising going on on a, kid, on a student level um, in the States and, and elsewhere. We want to mm -hmm. help make this be an opportunity for kids to learn about the nonprofit world, learn about becoming a global citizen at a young age, and uh, help us fundraise in that so way. So they could donate the, the item or the cash? Yeah, I mean, as of so now, if it's, it's it, sneakers, it's $100? Um, for sneakers, it's uh, just thirty dollars. Yeah, and uh, so right now it's 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 easier to donate the cash because we buy in bulk for a school or for Got a it. shelter. Um, we're still working out the kinks of using uh, used equipment and get a whole and container all of that. set. Buy in bulk and get a whole container. Yeah, yeah, but we're really looking for schools, students that are interested in becoming mm -hmm. global citizens that want to help do fundraising, want to become involved, and all they need to do is shoot me an email. We have some some great students already doing some fundraising at Great Neck North High School in, uh, in Long Island and uh, Oceanside High School and, and other places. And we're just trying to start a, you know, a community of people who are all on the same page. Let's start that community. There's a camera right there. <laughs> yep. Talk to that camera. Tell them you need some help. If oh. your school wants to start something, what do, they, what do they have to do? All right, breaking the fourth wall here. If, if your school wants to help out, just come out on, on social media. Send, send us an email. Um, Tell us that your school wants to get involved. We're looking for sports teams, music clubs, other kinds of clubs. If you're a student that wants to help change the world, wants to help start learning how to become a global citizen, learn about the world, and you feel strongly about helping other people and mm -hmm. kids become happier, that's all it takes to become part of our ISMP family, and we'd be really lucky to have you. You like that, Helen? There's that camera right there. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Great work. Thank you so I, uh, much. What website or email address uh, do you uh, have to go to? It's, a, it's, it's all long, so it's International Sports and Music Project. International org. Sports and Music Project dot org. Yep. Just Google International Sports and Music Project. You'll, you'll find us somewhere. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really oh. appreciate it. Give them a big hand, everybody. Go like this. <laughs> we applaud Thank you. Thank you. We got to take a quick break right here, but stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Open Next.